Hello everyone, so today is a bit different. Uh, I, I did like previously my vlogs so all about anime, manga, my fandoms that I'm in or like snacks when I went to Japan. Yeah, so uh, I'm trying to start this new vlog series now that I have more time and I'm full timing as a tailor now. Uh, yeah, so I, I have a... Um, and then this will contribute to my profile, I guess. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Uh, so recently, one project that I completed, which I was really excited for, was the Project Sekai and Zozo Town collab. Uh, yeah, so Project Sekai is like this mobile game series, and then it involves like Krypton Vocaloids like Miku, Luka, Miku, Rin, Lang, Kaito. So yeah, uh, so this is the design actually. Like okay, so yeah. Um, let me just show you the 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 board that I have. Yeah, so like. Uh, yes, uh, well, I made this costume, yeah, so yeah, uh, then uh, this is like, uh, this is the mood board that I collected, just yeah, solely for the purpose of this video, so yeah, okay, so this is the reference art, of course there are other characters, but I just cropped it up to Miku, so yeah, can you see, yeah, so the art is actually by Mika Picasso, uh, yeah, I'm very, uh, I, I like their works a lot, so like recently, uh, not really recent, but like last year, November or December, they had an exhibition, in Shibuya or Tokyo and it was called Art Pop or something Art Art Pop or something like that. Yeah then uh yeah it, I really wanted to go but then like uh I couldn't make it la. <laughs> I'm not in Japan. Okay I did went to Japan but I went to like Osaka and Kyoto yeah. Okay so uh yeah so uh yeah so like you can as you can see like this is the reference image so there's a lot of patterns and I hadn't custom printed. So you can see like this is the general mood board but for the purpose of this video, I didn't for the, uh, for my explanation wise, uh, explanation wise, I do not need this yet, so I'm gonna take this out first. So yeah, you can see here. Uh, yeah, it's quite heavy actually. I should have gotten like stronger magnets. Yeah. Then so like yeah, can you see here? So like these are all the textures that are the patterns that I did for the. Uh, for the outfit and then like yeah so you can see there's actually like a checkered uh che checkered plate pattern and then there's this like plus sign uh checkered things yeah and then also i also did like my partner's costume and also like the background as well also so yeah you can see here these are all the patterns actually that i did and also the background pattern which i can show you later so yeah you can see like all of them. So this is the Miku's color and this is the uh, Kaito's color. So I did them in for uh for Illustrator yeah AI. So yeah, cause like that's what I learned in school last time. So you can see oh yeah. So like for Miku's one right, uh it actually like a gradient. So can you see there's actually like a gradient color. So I made it that like this like overlay of gradients. Yeah, so it will fit to a darker color. Okay, so yeah, then this is the Kaito's outfit which I did not print. Uh, yeah, and also printed the background. My background I'll, I'll talk about later. So yeah, I had them printed. So you can see. Okay. These are the materials that I mainly used. So we have stuff like uh, this cloth. So like this, this pattern cloth, I wanted it to have some contrast with the satin of the background. So you can see it's a bit like, uh, there's like a bit of a texture on it, which I think that which is a bit like a bit a, a contrast to the otherwise satin because like if everything is satin like even the black oh that this is the black one I use yeah it's like satin and everything so yeah so yeah you, but you can see like I use like the cheap satin which I have a lot at home uh, last time and then like it warps very easily yeah so you can see yeah it's warping like I know it's on the grain like now but it's it warps quite easily so I had to use like interfacing uh I used like the soft interfacing slightly medium because I actually like ran out of the medium interfacing, so I just use that, uh, which is still okay because I realized I need to do the colors. Yeah, okay. I'll uh, I'll slowly get to into things, and then this is like yeah, this is the, this is the, the plate pattern print. Okay, sorry. Ah, uh, this is not a good idea. But it's first time, okay, something. So you can see it's plate. So from the top right, you can see the checkered pattern. And it slowly fades to a darker color at the bottom. Yeah. 
So yeah, this is actually like uh, satin silver. But one thing about this satin is that it catches on, the, the, the webs catches on very easily. So it's very easily to get spoiled. So like, uh, it was quite funny because I was doing my partner's arm, which was also using the same satin. And then I was like putting moisturizer on my hand because I have eczema. And then like, it, 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 it still affected it like, like I, I still have it, yeah. But it's okay, yeah, can you see it's like shiny. And then like, uh, the art is like kind of shiny. So uh, yeah, I, I was like, mm, yeah, okay, let's do it. Yeah, you can see the art, like yeah. Okay, so uh, now that we have materials covered, uh, I'm gonna do... Uh, Oh uh, yeah, um, materials cover, I'm gonna do like the fit and everything. So basically, like, let's give a rundown on this design. So like, this design here is uh, like a tuxedo blazer jacket cropped and then like pants. But of course, like the waist, right, uh, this band at the waistband is, uh, in the art is straight, but then like my human body is curved and I'm not that thin, so it, it is not that thin and not that straight. But of course, it looks nice in the art, yeah. But yeah, then uh, we have this like uh pockets. Oops, sorry, we have like these pockets for her to insert her hand in. Yeah, and then uh, we also have a few gathers. So so actually, what I deduced from this uh art is that the pants are actually something like a tulip. I'm not sure if is that the right word because I did some searching and then like they were like showing me different versions of the tulip pants. But I call it like a tulip pants. So like the 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 this part here, the hips here is a bit wider, it pulls up. So one thing about this of course it is a drawing. Uh it does not it it does have the shape but at the back I don't think it's supposed to have any volume. So you can see here oops let me bring my thing. It's a bit lower. So as you can see here, <coughs> it it does have a pleat here and a few gathers here. So like, but then at the side, there is not supposed to be any bulk. So like for the back, right? It, I think it looks nicer without any bulk at the back. So I had to do a bit of <coughs> sorry, <coughs> a bit of pattern making, so as to uh, make it such that it does not uh, it does not like, really. It does not really like affect the, 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 the cut. Yeah, so I actually tried to also make it such that it is a continuous uh, stripe. So like you can see here, like the lines are continuous. But of course, it's here is not really available. Uh, really available too. Uh, yeah, I can see. Oh, uh, can you see? Oh yeah, okay. Let me try to bring forward. Okay, yeah, but we can see here. Yeah, so like uh, all this pattern, I tried to make it like S as uh as continuous as I can but because of limitations in the cutting uh it's not possible for everything such as like the under sleeve and everything and I did cut take in a bit of the okay wait uh, let me take out some pants first <laughs> okay yeah so the pants yeah so here there's a there's a pleat for the detail yeah so when, when there's a pleat there is volume there is like excess there's bulk so uh you have to like I have to like really like fold it and then like iron it so like this is actually a curved plate actually it curves so like basically this kind you can do a curve when it's on bias uh but other than that usually pleats will give you straight yeah so like i really had to like ease out the ease out the excess yeah and then like of course here is the pocket so like you can see there's the pocket and i'm kind of dumb because like people only do this to save a uh, fabric like the actual fabric <laughs> Then I, I then I just like uh cut I did more work I can just cut the whole piece like with and then I cut like like this like like this and the uh, aligning it together so it looks like continuous but then like uh, more work for me oh, okay never mind okay yeah uh, so like this is the it's combined this one is uh okay this one I did like uh the pants are a bit this waist dress is a bit messy because uh I was trying to get it to be like really really tight. But then, like, human body is... Okay, well, my body at least is not that thin. So, uh, it's a bit messy inside. So, like, I did join it to the these pants. And then, like, I did some, like, editing on the inside here. To make it, like, smaller. To cinch at the waist. So, yeah. Uh, even though that... Ah! Sorry. Is this okay? Little... I must tighten it, I guess. Ah, sorry. Okay. okay. I think it's better now. 
Okay, so like, even though there's a zip at the side, I did like a cross back so that I can like tighten it. But I realized that it doesn't really have the effect because, uh, because of the waist issue actually. <laughs> like, uh, it looks, it, 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 I think this is able to do it if, if it wasn't like, uh, at the waist and supposed to be really tight. But I still did it anyway. I still put on very tight, yeah. So yeah, okay. Then that's it for the pants, I guess. Yeah, oh, the pants also has like these pockets of checkered stuff. Uh, let me try it. Let me try it. Yeah, can you see? Like, there's these like patches. Yeah. And also like for the pants at the end, I made it like poofier at the end. Can you see? But anyway, uh, okay, never mind. This side. This one. So here, it's actually like poofy. Uh, again, it is art. So it is actually kind of uh, like impossible to do with a straight cut. But, uh, and also, uh, what I did, what, uh, what I worked around was like, uh, these pants. It's actually like, like that. So like, it's like, this is, this is a, this is a shape. And then after that, you gather this part here. So you actually get like this kind of like effect. But of course, uh, it, it, uh, but of course, because of the, of the way that the tights, that, that this pants part, like this part here. I wanted it to be like super super tight, so it actually does have that 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 this kind of feel, yeah. This this kind of feel, yeah. So yeah. Uh yeah. Well, let me unwipe it. Okay, now it's for the top. Ah, okay. Now I can explain the top. So like the oh okay. Wait, how do I cap it? Sorry, I'm new to this. Okay, so like now for the top. Okay, so the top is actually like a woman's blazer. Woman's blazer. Cause like, you know, I have uh, I have chest. So yeah, uh, you can see that it's cropped. So like one thing special is about is the label, which I get into it later. So uh, this is the, a, a, okay, of course for the mannequin, it's not me. So like you can see that it actually, like the, the shoulder is part especially so it actually goes up but when I wear it it's actually like straight because I'm not the mannequin size I'm a bit bigger especially at the back then uh yeah uh so uh this one is actually like the front part uh, I have a bodice block for myself so what what I did was like to ignore the darts so I just like cut it and then like just ignore the darts like do not sew the darts and then uh you that's what you, that's what I get like because you it, that this part here the chest doesn't need to really like follow the the, the bust here, the, the, the chest, the, the boobs, yeah, so you do not need like the, you do not need like the, what do you call it, oh the duck, yeah, and then the back, because like, uh, even though it is a straight cut, like still, <laughs> I just made a seam at the back, because like, uh, a seam here at the center, yeah, I also didn't have like darts at the waist, like, because it's, it's meant to be loose, so, uh yeah, so this one is actually actually just a straight cut this one because I wanted it to be like you know those like a bit loose those kind you only, you only do it like you only go it take it in if you want it like a clearer back but then for this for this uh instance I did not want it to be like super contoured to the back because it's supposed to have volume at the side yeah and also of course when I wear it right it's a bit uh I'm a bit bigger so uh you it's you kind of it looks uh, loose here but then when I wear it is it is it is it fits my body better yeah yeah and then you can see okay then also okay one thing about the sleeves which I did was because I also wanted it to be super tight so the sleeve the sleeve block okay this one if you do, if you do not so you, you may not understand <laughs> but I'm just gonna explain it anyway so like the sleeve the crown height for this the crown height, this one, this height. I I made it to be very high. So like usually a a high like like uh, on the higher end is probably like twelve cm, but I think for this I did like fifteen cm. So like yeah, if if you <laughs> if you if you if you know like uh better making and then you're like fifteen cm crown height, you'll be like wow okay yeah because I wanted it to like be super tight arm. So like okay when I wear it, it is like very tight. Oh yeah, so you can see like it is tight at the arm. This is really my, yeah, it's tidy up. But one thing you trade off is of course the movability. So like this part here, 
is very tight. So like, uh, okay, so when, when the crown height is, when the crown height is, is actually higher, uh, you can actually less, less, uh, excess here. So that you, there's less, how do I say it? Less fabric for you to actually move around. More, more, less allowances. Yeah, yeah, less allowances. Oh, I don't drop it. Okay, yeah. Then here, of course, here is also like, uh, there are some, some, some detail that they have. Oh yeah, and then, and then like for sewing this particular fabric onto this. Okay, so this fabric it works a lot. So like, even though it's not on the bias, it stretches here and there also. So it's like, mm, yeah. It was kind of hard to sew it on, like stop stitch it without it like warping too much. Even though it, it did warp actually, but I think I just did, like pull here, pull there, and then like, you have to you have to like adjust it. So yeah, sometimes when you play fabrics, it's that doesn't always. And then of course like uh, since it's a jacket that will be <coughs> that will be open, I actually made it with lining. So yeah, it's properly done with lining actually. Yeah, and then like this is the sleeve. So the sleeve is a cuff. So like yeah, you can just see. Because it's lining, I'll just, I just did it like the simple way, yeah. So you just fold it back up. Okay, yeah, you can see it's lining inside, yeah. And it's black, so yeah, you have to iron. Okay, so now this is for the, the lipo part, the fun part. Okay, how much do I have left? Okay, it's 15 minutes left. Okay, so, oh yeah, and I also added shoulder pads. So like because like you want it strong shoulders for like a manlier feel. Oh yeah, because my vision for this like design was a manly miku like an ikeme miku. So like uh I made it with I my makeup, my poses, my expression was a bit uh more, more masculine, more, more more serious rather than like a cutesy miku than like uh what is a, a lot of, uh like what is usual la. which is why I really wanted to tackle this project. Yeah, and I, and I think it's quite nice. I'm gonna like throw in some photos. <laughs> Let me throw in some photos in the video. <laughs> so, yeah, okay, now this is my favorite part, the lapel. So, the lapel is actually double layered. So, uh, as you can see, can you see? Can you see? Yeah, it's, it's actually a shadow. So, what I'm thinking is that the vision was that uh, it is actually uh, two layers. So, like, what what is usual of what is usual of uh, lapels is that they are actually uh, two parts also, but they are not separate layers like this. They are joined together here. Oh, where is mine? Oh, is it here? Okay, yeah. So, yeah, here. Here is an image from Uniqlo, one of their casual jackets. So, as you can see, like here. I will draw it for you if you can't see. Yeah. So, like this part here. Yeah, it's actually like that. And then like it joins here. There's a collar piece that joins here. And then this one is actually a straight piece. And then usually there is like a seam here. La, so that is to save fabric. Yeah, can you see? Yeah, so this part is joined. But then for this, this part, like I didn't make it joined. So I had to really uh, do some pattern making, do some thinking and everything. Because this that design would be like a normal blazer, a common blazer. But because I wanted it special. <laughs> I want to be extra, so yeah. So it's okay. So uh, this part is the, the this lower part is the same as the usual uh, lapel, just that I made it a bit lower. So it, as you can see, it is. Let me actually adjust it lower. Okay, because it's a bit too high. So like this part here, it's actually like that. Yeah, of course because also, uh, because it's not buttoned, so. I had to do this like corner-ish thing that, so that it folds and then it makes a straight seam here. Yeah, again, like people's drawing, they don't think about <laughs> how to make it in real life. But it's okay, it's, it's, it's good challenging, it's a design detail. So that's like what usually, it's actually one piece usually. Uh, usually it's the iron like interfacing on but then I am, I am too lazy and also my interfacing was the soft kind so I was just like, nah, it's okay. So yeah, so this part is like that. So how you get that shape is to just fold it and then iron it. Okay, now it's for this part. So this part, um, the behind, I wanted it to be like a blazer, so with like a collar that rolls over, like a collar stand. Yeah, that already has. But also, it, I want it to be a continuous piece to the front, and in the front, I have to iron such a way that it actually has this like crease here. This little crease here. 
uh, yeah, okay. So what I did was to draft the back collar and the front. I, I just uh, draped it on the body. So I have a mannequin. So one thing about me, if you have a mannequin, is that you can drape it onto the mannequin and then you can adjust it yourself. So yes. Uh, yeah. So how it looked like the picture is actually like the state of Texas. How how do I know that it looks Texas looks like this when I do not live in uh, America? I don't know, but it looks like the state of Texas. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, okay, this part is the wait, let me try think. Okay, yeah, this part is the back. So I will drawing this to the back, and then this part is the this part here. Of course, I did edit the shape a little bit after a while. So and then like for this right, this corner here is actually how it joins to the inner piece. So this part here, I still have to do also a bit of like thinking and then like do some cutting. So um, it actually folds in. I'm not sure you can see. So like this is the lining part and this is the lapel part. So it actually uh, forms, it actually goes in, in into the lining at the, at the seam here. Okay, so one thing also about jackets is that there is a facing here. So that when you flap out this part here, that is, uh, you can see that is the top cloth, not the lining cloth. So I made use of, of the, the the seam actually. So to insert this lapel, this lapel after lapel into the thing, and also, uh, it is joined. It also it also goes in at the shoulder part. Let me try. Let me see if I can take it out. Okay, yeah. So can you see it joins at the shoulder part? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that's it. Yeah, I made it very neat this time. Yeah, surprisingly. <laughs> for myself. <laughs> Usually for myself, I'm just like, ah, oh, anyhow. Yeah, the, the pants anyhow, actually. <laughs> no, no lining anything. But this waist was, 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 was tough. This waistband thing. This thick waistband, yeah. Yeah, okay, so... That's how you usually do it. Is it? That's what I did it. Not usually do it. That's how I did it. So you can see. Uh, this is the normal part for the for the center back. Oh, one thing right for this, I had to do it on the bias because I wanted it to flow like fold nicely. So like things on that are done on bias, bias cut are actually uh easier to for it to like fold because of the way it looks. Especially for wovens actually, I think it's 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 mostly wovens lah. Uh, the, if it's kind of biased, it can actually like stretch a little bit here and there and allowance. So yeah. Yeah, so it has to be an allowance. So like here, as you can see, not sure if you can see anything. It actually forms like this crease here, which I really wanted. And then also here is the done by ironing. So like this, this part here. Yeah. So yeah. Okay, I think that's all. What do I have? 22 minutes, okay. <laughs> Because of the editing program, it's just like yeah. Oh, then I also did the graphic for the okay. So now time for like the explain for the shoot and everything. So like for the shoot, I did like the graphic for the background. Oh. <laughs> I want showing photos. Show photos, photos, photos. Okay. But yeah, this is the fabric. So one thing about this fabric, uh, is that uh, when I custom print it, because okay, uh, if I print it like one whole piece, it's gonna cost like two hundred dollars. And then of course I, I do not have two hundred dollars to spare as in I do not have two hundred dollars budget for just the background. Then uh so I I go to my usual like call printer. So they their widest size is only one four seven cm. One four seven cm in inches uh. If it's inches probably uh sixty cm, sixty inch, yeah. So yeah, so they 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 only can print you that width. So I actually join in the middle. So the middle part actually, uh, there is this shadow which I digitally created so that it hides the seams and it's supposed to look like a pillar, which, okay, it looks it looks it looks okay. It doesn't look too jarring, I feel, but it still doesn't have the pillar effect. So yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, the clips. So like, oh, I'm not talking about the clips. Okay, so for the clips, uh, it's actually uh very easy to do. You just get like this. What? How do I get it out? Okay, so for the clips. Ah, it's stuck. Okay, so for the clips, it's actually like this uh, crescent shape thing, like just a long crescent shape thing. Yes, can you see it? Like that. 
so and then I I added like this elastic because uh I just had hazardly added the elastic so it will scrunch up and then, and then I glued on the, the clips glue on the clips here and you just pin it here yeah so it looks like it because I I I was like uh again because it's my own cosplay so it was like a low effort. <laughs> A lot of effort, so I didn't really like bother to put it on the wig, do everything, and then like measure how it. That's why I added the elastic so I can like uh pull to how much I want and then clip it and yeah. This I didn't really pin properly, so it's okay. Yeah. What else? Oh yeah, I actually should have shown you. Okay, so like oh where are the? Okay, let me pause it. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's, just, let's talk about the frames. So at the backdrop, there's actually like frames at the back. And then like, so I got this frame from Daiso, spray painted it, framed up uh, this hollow. Uh, so I also got the hollow cloth. So the background, what I, what I uh, interpreted it is that it is, has a hollow cloth. Yeah, so oops. So here it is. So this frame is like a wooden frame actually. It's actually very heavy and like not very heavy, but it was considerably heavy. Yeah. But because it's the it's the one that which is like the closest in design, I wanted to get a foam one, but then uh yeah. It, it's it's it doesn't look it doesn't have this feel, you know what I mean? So it's usually like this colour at first. Yeah. Then I spray painted it black. And then like uh hang up the 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 hollow cloth. So there's two. So this is the softer one, this is blue. And then like uh, there's the there's the other one which I have, it, but it ended up looking the same because well, hollow teal the other color is blue and then like if it's hollow blue the other color is teal, so it actually looks the same. <laughs> so funny, but yeah, this is a teal one. It is pretty though. Okay, yeah. Then uh, for the for hanging up the props, uh, I have to really like thank uh Shenyang's wife uh Yimin. And Shenyang also to set up the, 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 the setting and then like cause it, it, it they had to hang out with like fish wire and like, everything while while me and my kaito uh prepared to have. Okay, what's next? Oh yeah, the, then the flowers. So like I got these tulips also. So they will come in white and because they didn't have they had blue but they didn't have teal. Uh so uh it's okay. Do they have blue actually? Maybe not. Maybe they, not maybe not this blue, maybe like a baby blue. So I got these flowers, like this is the white one, and then this is like I painted it and then this is the teal one. Yeah, I painted it with acrylic, yeah, but it doesn't look too bad because anyway the flowers is foamish. It doesn't have a nice smell. Okay, then for the wrapper, the, the kind of wrapper feel. From the image here, they were, they're holding a wrap plastic. So like, <laughs> this is the plastic which I get from like online shopping. Like all those clear plastics. At first I was like, okay, I need to go to Popular and buy a, a bookstore uh, and, and buy. And after that, <laughs> when I went there, I'm just like, wait a minute, this just looks like one of the... <laughs> The cloth, the cloth wrappers, like the plastic. So yeah, uh, reduce, reuse, recycle. So yeah, you can see this is the wrapper. So that is like this. Yeah. Okay. So that is kind of like the shoot things. Okay, I think that's enough. Okay, yeah. Uh, well, I hope that you've enjoyed me talking about my uh, costume making and also like some uh, shoot stuff, idea, ideation. So yeah, I hope that I can do more of these kind of things as and when I have more shoots. Yeah, okay. Bye-bye.